Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are not going to be playing Jenga game with these boxes. Uh, what we are actually going to be doing is we are going to be replacing these 8 ignition coils on my BMW E38740i. Now, before we go any further with the video, I want to say a big thank you to Bilstein Group. Bilstein Group own three brands. They own Febby, Blueprint and Swag. Blueprint is what we are going to be using today. I'm going to put a picture on the screen so you can see the part number. And what I will do in the future is I'm going to do a um, um, more in detail video about how to use their parts finder um, so you can see their full range of parts. Now before we go any further with the replacement of the ignition coils, what I will do first is I'm going to run the engine, I'm going to warm it up to its normal operating temperature. Obviously I'm going to do this outdoors because I don't want to run my engine with the doors closed here. Um, so when the engine is at full operating temperature, I'm going to hook up the diagnostic tool um, and we're going to check the roughness, smoothness of the engine and uh, we're going to capture that data. Then we're going to replace the ignition coils, which is a super easy job. And after this, we're going to run the diagnostic tool again to see if there's any difference. I don't expect to see massive difference in all fairness. As I mentioned, I'm doing this as preventative maintenance. Um, and the reason I'm replacing these coils is in case any, any, any of the coils fail, uh, I don't want to get stranded somewhere on the side of the road. So let's not waste any time as I like to say and let's get started. Now since we run the diagnostics and we know how smooth the engine runs, uh, we're going to proceed with the removal of the cover, the plastic cover on top of the valve cover, then we're going to remove the old coils and we're going to replace them with the new ones. I'm going to show you in detail um, how to do this, I'm going to show you one or two and then I'm going to speed up the video uh, because it's repetitive and it's exactly the same for every single coil. So let's do it. The first two you need is a pick so you can lift these caps here and expose the 10 millimeter nuts that hold the plastic cover in place. So once you remove these, um, just loosen these two bolts and uh, remove this plastic cover here. Once you've loosened the two bolts, just gently lift the plastic cover and pull it out. With the cover out, you can see um, the coils are exposed, so you can work on them. Um, again, you need 10 millimeter socket. I'm using a small quarter inch ratchet. So just loosen these and uh, just push on this clip from the, from the bottom here, lift it up. And uh, all you need to do is just try and wiggle this plug here. And that's it. One coil loosened and out. 
you can see how clean it is uh, wasn't that long ago um, when I was cleaning here so everything is nice and nice and shiny no oil nothing the only difference you have here on the cylinder 2 is you have the ground wire so you just loosen as normal pull the clip out and then pull the coil as well repeat the same on the other two and then uh, when we move on the other side we're just going to do the same thing all the nuts are out <clears throat> just in the same way pull on the plug here and that's another coil ready to come out so this is how easy it is to remove all four coils on bank one I'm gonna apply 10 newton meters of torque on these nuts here. Place the cover in place again. the two 10 millimeter bolts <laughs> 10 newton meters of torque here as well and that's the job done I'm not going to show you the other side because it's repetitive and it's exactly the same process so this is it now the job is complete, I've changed all four ignition coils on one side, I'm not going to show you the other side because it's exactly the same process and I don't want to bore you to death. So I'm going to only show you this side and it's as simple as, as we just let's go through the process again. Just remove these two caps, remove the cover, remove the ignition coils, you've got eight knots all together for all four ignition coils. Take them out, put the new ones in, put everything back in place the way it was torque the bolts and the nuts uh, up to 10 newton meters and that's it it's as simple as that nothing complicated so instead of spending money um, by going to your mechanic for something so simple now you've seen it and you don't have to waste money and time so i hope you like this video i try to make it as fun as possible as um, also as short as possible because I don't want to waste too much of your time so if you do like the video hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're not a subscriber and i will see you in the next one